can you give the distinction between grandiose and vulnerable narcissism? Because most people are familiar with grandiose narcissism, right? The overt kind of, absolutely, you know, narcissist that we're most familiar with. But there is uh, there's many different facets of narcissism. But we tend to say like, oh, that person's a narcissist, you know, like, and and, and it immediately like separates uh, humans from each other, you know, right. like, oh, my partner doesn't pay attention to all my needs. There are the narcissist. Right. <laughs> um, but um, there are different types of narcissism, and that is true and very important to distinguish there is the obvious kind of um grandiose puffed up kind so there certainly are differences among people so some people do kind of have this kind of attitude of like i'm entitled to things because i'm superior you know they i don't know if you can think of anyone but people who like kind of walk around with a puffed up chest and they're like oh i'll take that i'll take that i'll you know because they think they're superior to everyone yeah. right and they eat it's, it's a vibe <laughs> it's a I'm sure you you must have met someone in your life who has that vibe. Yes, I I, I, I say yeah, that yeah, sometimes yeah, too. So yeah, yeah, I probably yeah, yeah. have that. It's a vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not not as much that. Not but, as much. Yeah, I totally hear that. But vulnerable narcissism is a very different vibe. Yeah. Um, vulnerable narcissism is um, I feel entitled to things because I've suffered in the past, right? Mm. And I think we all have to be wary about that. Um, that is a psychological th principle. I call it the entitlement paradox, which is that the more that we um, have uh, faced hardships in our past, the more likely we are to kind of think that we're entitled to uh, things that, uh, that uh, we don't have that others have, you know, and, and that can actually go down a very dark path. Um, and not lead to growth at all. So all this is in the service of helping people with growth. You know, I'm not in the business of labeling. I'm yeah. not in the business of like if a label or if a, if a set of if something I'm talking about doesn't resonate with someone in a helpful way, then forget it. You know, I don't want to like, that person's a vulnerable narcissist. That person's a grandiose narcissist. Right. And uh, by the way, there's lots of other types of narcissism. Right. You can go, there's communal narcissism. So those are those who... Uh, they're like, I'm going to be the best in the world at helping people, you know, like uh, me. And one of the items on the questionnaire is me and uh, me alone can, will save the world. Yeah. You know, that's communal narcissism. Yeah. yeah so there's all different for it. The, the need to regulate our self-esteem is a really big one. And there's lots of different ways and outlets upon which we do it. I've um, also studied another form, um, toxic altruism. So those are people who are desperate to be needed, you know, mm. they, so on the scale are things like I need to need to be needed. Um, and that's actually a form of narcissism because you find that uh, those individuals actually tend to have a lot of strife with others. They're not actually helping the others. Mm. It's they're only helping others to the extent to which it feeds their ego. They're not actually really doing the real felt needs of the other person. Yeah. They're helping so, others because it helps their sense of self in a certain way. Exactly. They'd actually score well in empathy measures, which is fascinating. <laughs> um, wow. So uh, there's all these different facets. Sense. But I just want to be clear that we all have these all these potentials within us. Right. Um, you know, we, I don't. Uh, I'm not a big fan of labeling, but the, the qu interesting question is, what extent does all that stuff inhibit our growth? You know, right. uh, a lot of those are avoidance mechanisms uh, uh, to avoid uh, facing maybe our imperfections in a way. They're defense mechanisms. Do they? Does vulnerable narcissists or communal narcissists or grandiose? Does it stem from the same feeling of lack of self within, or do they? How, why do they manifest differently? Um, they're, they are very different. It's self-esteem is different. So you tend to find very low self-esteem among vulnerable narcissism, whereas you do find pretty high self-esteem mm -hmm. among grandiose narcissism. It's not a stable self-esteem in either case. Yeah. They, both are dependent on others, right? So like the grandiose narcissist almost needs, like it's like crack. They need validation, mm -hmm. right? Like, like they need to surround themselves with people who are constantly, you know, kissing their butt, yeah. you know? Um, but with vulnerable narcissism, it's a little bit different because it's a lot more, um, there's a lot more shame involved. Um, uh, you, you almost have a little more compassion for vulnerable narcissists than you do grandiose narcissists. Because yeah. <laughs> grandiose narcissists will never go to the clinician's couch, right? Um, I have a friend who, you know, a right. big, big time narcissism uh, researcher and, and clinical psychologist. He said the only time that grandiose narcissist ever ends up on the couch is when their girlfriend made them <laughs> come. <Yeah. laughs> or someone, exactly. someone's like, you got to see someone. Yeah. But the vulnerable, nar the vulnerable narcissist will 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 seek out therapy and uh they they know something's not right you know that like uh well i shouldn't say something's not right that's not <laughs> that wasn't a really good way of putting it but you know what I mean? something they're not reaching their goals in yeah. the best possible way uh, because there's a lot of shame um I th a lot of those folks the paradox there i mentioned the, the entitlement paradox the paradox is a very interesting one which is that um that f they feel they feel rotten at the core and yet they feel like uh angry that the world has not given them everything they deserve. Hmm. And that to me, that's a fascinating, fascinating uh, juxtaposition. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. What does that stem from? Do you you looked into that? I'm sure. Well, trauma. Yeah. Um, and uh, and uh, there is a general psychological mechanism, which is if you feel like you've been wronged, hmm. you're more likely to feel entitled to take things that uh, maybe you didn't earn. And uh, th- but I think that's that's part of being human, and we all need to be aware of that.